Okay, this is problem 2.8 of our chapter 2 when we are adding forces and we are also decomposing a force in different directions. In this case, we have the force produced by another T over this T of a gear that is 20 pounds. And we want to find the components of that force along the BP direction and along the AA direction. Please notice that those directions are not perpendicular between each other, nor are from the force that I'm applying. So therefore, I'm going to use the graphical method and use the sine and the cosine law. In this case, the sine law is enough. So what do I do? I have my force over here. Let me draw it over here. And I have, this is 20. And I have the direction B and the direction A. So I have one force. Let me draw the direction B a little bit tilted right here. Okay, so this is the direction B and this is the direction A. So what I will have is one force along the direction A. I call FA, and I will have one force along the direction B, which I call FB. And as you see, if I copy this a parallel to the direction A at the tip of my force B, and I copy the direction B at the tip of my direction A, I create a parallelogram. And actually, this force can be slight, and this is actually, this one over here will be the resultant force. This is 20 pounds. So I finally was able to create a parallelogram, and I will use one triangle of this parallelogram. So if I name this FB, which is exactly the same vector as that one, and this one FA on that side. So I have described the three sides of my triangle. Let's go now with the angles. I am told that this angle over here is 80, therefore this angle over here is 80, therefore this angle over here is 80. And I am told that this angle over here, let me draw it with a different color, this angle is 60, Therefore, this angle is 60. So the only angle that I don't know is this one right here. Okay, so now that I have described all my, my triangle, I can use the sine law. This angle over here, I have need to find it, and as you know, all the angles have to add 180 for a triangle, so it's 180 minus 60. minus 80, 40 degrees, right? So this angle over here, I already know that is 40 degrees. Now I can apply the sine law, right? So I will have a B divided by the sine of the opposite angle will be equals to this angle right here, which I know 20, which is the force that is given, divided by the sine of phi, which is 40 degrees. And from here, I can find the component, which is 20 sine of 60 divided by sine of 40. And that gives me a value, I have it right here, of 26.9 pounds. Then I use exactly the same as uh, my triangle to find FA. Then I use the opposite angle, which is 80, and I have 20 sine of 40 again. That gives me that AA is 20 times sine of 80 divided by sine of 40. And that is equals to 30.6 pounds. So, 
constructing my parallelogram from my original drawing, I was able to decompose the force in the two directions. So one is tangent to the teeth, and the other one is another direction that it may be relevant for the purpose that I am analyzing this gear.